Hey guys, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop. It's May 15th, 2020. We're almost through 2020. We're mm -hmm. almost halfway there. Super exciting. So today I have something super fun to show you. It's the brand new Bonnie and Camille book called The Bonnie and Camille Quilt Bee. Um, it's So Emma, which is our company, is publishing the book. We're super, super honored that they have agreed to do a book with us. We have been asking them to do a book for about five years. Mm -hmm. So this is super um, exciting for me as a personal accomplishment, um, just being able to work with them. And um, I get to show you one of the quilts I've been working on. It took me about five weeks, I think. And so a lot of the weeks when I would come in and not have something to show is because I was working on this. So to explain to you, it, this is the book. Of course, it won't be in this binder, but this is just, you know, how we put it together for now. And on the cover is this quilt that I'm about to show you. And so the quilt is called Shine On Block of the Month. So if you want to buy it as a block of the month, you would not buy the book because the book comes with the block of the month. If you don't want the block of the month, then you would buy the book. And then there's also a backing set. So I'm going to show you the quilt and then we'll talk a little bit more about the book. So I made this quilt. Let's see. It's really, really big. And so I will show it to you in sections. And we're gonna zoom in in a little bit and you can't really see, but that white on white is actually a rainbow print. It's a tiny rainbow on top of a white. And so I made all of the rainbows go the same direction, except there's one in here that doesn't go the same direction. You can't even see it, it's so tiny. <laughs> but yeah, that is a, um, it's very slight. So nobody would be able to tell. So I did that just because I'm a little OCD and it made me take a lot longer. So I'll show you the next row. This is all piece. I would say it's beginner, I mean, I would say it's intermediate to advanced. And one of the things about it that would make it more intermediate is there are a lot of seams pressed open because you can see that a lot of blocks touch. So if you're looking at um, some of the blocks touch each other, so the seams have to press open for everything to lie flat. So this is the main quilt in the book. It's the sampler quilt and the other quilts in the book use blocks from this. So this is kind of the bottom. My favorite block is the heart block. And so you can see that bottom row, you make that same, that same star block um, over and over. And this uses the Shine On collection. We will have more information on the fabric collection when Moda releases their fabric in a week or two. They're gonna mail me a box with all of it. For the back, this is the backing that Camille chose. And what I did is I took a Sweetwater label. Can you zoom in on it, Lily? And um, this is, I believe this might be 108 inch. I can't even remember. But I thought it was gonna to be too hard to cut it apart and I didn't wanna see the cut of the, like I didn't wanna have a chop in the flower. So I took a Sweetwater label, treated it like a regular fabric. I added rainbow prints to the the rainbow white to the side. I folded it under a quarter inch and then just top stitched it on. And then I used a tiny bit of fusible interfacing just to make it sit down. But once it's quilted, it won't move. So I'll show, let me see if I can, oh, it isn't, it isn't 108 inch wide because you can see my seam right here. So it's not 108 inch. Mm. See, I can't remember what I did a month ago. So let's see if we can zoom in right there on that rainbow print and see if you can see it. Yeah, so you can see the little rainbows. Oh yeah. See? I wanna have a rainbow upside down. <laughs> I was not paying attention on the back. <laughs> So that is the main quilt. It is 68 by 80, so it's a pretty big quilt. And um, I love the quilting on it. I used um, Camille's quilter. I can give you her name when I open up the book. 
and Camille picked the quilting and everything. So, let's see. Oh. Patty Lawson says, Mom's watching, and she put Hi, a little Mom. heart. Hi, Patty. Hi, Molly. <laughs> Um, so this is in the back of the book and it is a 12 month block of the month. So if you sign up, it will go for 12 months. It starts in the fall. And again, if you're buying the block of the month, don't also buy, buy the book because the book will come with your first month. So let me know if you guys have any questions on that before I show you the rest of the book, which is in the front of the book. And I'm gonna look for the quilter's name. So first question here is from Hannah W. She says, is the block of the, block of the month making this sampler quilt? Yes. So the sampler quilt will be making this block of the month. It took me about five weeks um, because it's a lot of start and stop and I've been working a lot, but um, it did take me longer than normal, but it was really fun. What I did is I used Lori Holt's design boards and I would cut a couple of blocks and just stack them up and then try to do all my triangle paper at once and all my flying geese at once and then kind of put them together all at once. Mm -hmm. But I've been working on it for, for quite a long time and I was actually really honored to be able to do the, the, um, the one for the front. All right, from TRP Lohensky says, will you have kits for this quilt? So it's gonna be a block of the month. Okay. We won't have a kit. If you wanted to do it more as a kit, I would just buy a fat quarter bundle and then the yardage you need for the background. Okay. And can you remind us how big the quilt is and the name of it one more time? 68 by 80 and it's called Shine On. And um, Lily has a link. You can just click on the top link she has in the description box and it'll take you to all three items, the book, the block of the month and the backing set. And again, this is all designed by Bonnie and Camille. They're a mother daughter duo team that have designed fabric for Moda Fabrics for a very, very long time. All right, and then uh, while we wait for more questions to roll in, we had a few members join right at the beginning of the live stream. Um, so we had Lauren Price, she's a new member. Welcome, Lauren. Thank you. And Ledbetter, well, or Wendy Ledbetter, sorry, I just saw the last name there. Welcome, Wendy. And My Chaotic Amazing Life. Welcome. Oh, That's thank a great you. That username. sounds like my, net, my life. <laughs> All right, and then we had a super chat from Nancy Lane for $1.99. Thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you. Sweet. Um, and then just a sweet comment from Gail. She said, Sue and customer service is a wonderful help and love her. Aw, thank you. We'll have to go downstairs and tell her. The quilter on this quilt is Nicole Christofferson. Oh. Yes. So a little bit about the book. The book is really about um, the mother-daughter duo, lots of personal stories, lots of stories about working with the grandmother, the daughters, now the granddaughters. It's a whole family story. Lots of photos of Camille and the ladies that she sews with uh, once a month. And now I'm gonna show you the quilts that are in the front of the book. And again, in the front of the book, it's the full instructions for the quilt, but it takes blocks from the sampler quilt. So the very first one I'm gonna show you is called Shine. It's called You Have My Heart. It is 72 inches square. And so you can see the way that they sewed it is by colorway. Now, of course, you could do a quilt with all the same fabrics, same colorway. So you could do a whole a quilt with just red hearts or blue hearts. And this uses fabrics from several collections. So on this one, it's scrappy. And um, we did have a question on this one if it was gonna be a kit and it won't be. And the reason why is it is very scrappy. And then they use this as the backing. And then Bonnie had her granddaughters, four of her granddaughters make blocks and she put them in this quilt. And then you can see their name in the diagonal section of the heart, if that makes sense. And so it's a way to, you know, sew with her granddaughters and they put their name with a, with a um, permanent pin. So that is super cute. This would be a great table topper. Mm -hmm. The next quilt is called Legacy Quilt. It is also 72 inches square. 
and this one um, it's called legacy and in the book she talks a lot about the grandmother how she started quilting how that influenced Bonnie and then Camille and then you know everyone else in the family so I'll show you the bottom too I love the quilting on this one too and so Bonnie and Camille made all of these quilts so they made the quilts in the front I made the one on the back this is one of their 108 inch wide sateen prints. The next one is called Rainbow Baby. It is 40 by 46. I think it will be probably one of the most popular quilts in the book. And also on this one, it won't be a kit because this one she used a lot of her fabric collections or their fabric collections to be able to get that rainbow effect. So you're gonna see, you know, reds, oranges, yellows that are from like five or six years ago. So um, it's a rainbow quilt for a baby. Of course, you could make it much bigger. She put this on the back. It's great. So if you're somebody who has had their fabric in your stash, you can pull that out for that quilt. The next one is called Starburst, Starburst, and this one is by Bonnie. And this one, she has a sweet story about one of her friends that she has sewn with for 20 years. And if you know anything about Bonnie and Camille, you know that Bonnie loves red and white. Mm -hmm. Put it right here. Um, so on this one, she did use lots of their fabric collection. So this is one where you would get from your stash. You could even add other designers' fabrics. And then she put the red and white sateen, 108 inch wide on the back. And this one is 69 inches square. The next one is called Weekender Quilt. It's 71 inches square. And this one is very easy. So if you are a beginner, this would be great. It is basically nine patch blocks with 25 patch blocks on the corner, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So very beginner. And this one uses lots of collections. So again, scrappy. The only one in the book that only uses the shine on fabric collection is the sampler quilt that I showed you in the beginning. The next one is super fun. It's called the Wish Table Runner. It's 22 by 56. So they take one of the harder blocks in the book and put, you know, the three blocks together with sashing. But the best part about it is on the back, this uses a layer click, layer cake so they show you how to use the leftover layer cakes to make the backing and use your leftover binding for this center stripe. So that's super fun. Mm -hmm. Great way to use up a layer cake and not have any waste. Now the next part of the book is something super fun. Um, when Camille announced the book on Instagram, she put a post and said, you know, we're making a book. If you would like to send in these little units, we're gonna put them in quilts. And she thought, oh, I'll probably get 100. She got so many. Um, so they had to actually turn off the entries because they got so many. So they were actually able to make several things from the quilt. So there's two quilts and a, and a um, pillow. So I'm going to show you first Camille's quilt. So if you send in a unit, it might be in this quilt. Actually, Camille's quilt is right here. Yes. Sorry. So Camille's quilt, they show it in three different sizes, a lap, a twin, and a queen. And so if you send in one of these units, it, so this is April showers. This is one of their very, very first collections right here. Wow. Yeah, it's really, that's probably, Lily was probably still in high school when that came out. <laughs> so um, that's super exciting. And I love that we put in three size options. And then Bonnie's is 79 inches square and it's called Bonnie's Beehive. Mm. So this one is more advanced 
And you can see if you compare the one I'm holding versus the one on the wall, same units, totally different look. Mm -hmm. So super exciting. And of course, these are all used units by what you guys sent in. Yeah, comment below if you're one of the people that sent something in. Yes. So awesome. And then this is the pillow that Bonnie put together. It's used in the same block and she gives you instructions on how to make it and then she made it with a zipper. And so there's instructions on how to make the hidden zipper. And she also made this thread catcher, which is in the book. And the thread catcher is really awesome because it has a quilt block on both, both sides. And then on the side, there's this one has a pocket, like a normal pocket. And then this one, she used some of the Moda twill tape that comes on the fat quarter bundles where you can put some sewing lines and then you can put pins in here. And it also has a pocket. Ooh. And if you send in a block, yeah. here's the pages with the names. That's so cool. I know, so exciting, because it's all about being a quilt bee, sewing together, being a community. There's one more quilt called The Good Times Quilt, and it is right here on the ladder. It has, the book has instructions for a table topper, and if you do it as a table topper, it's charm pack friendly, and lap instructions, and if you make it into a lap, it is layer cake friendly. And also in the book, they put different um, colorway options in there just to show you, okay, this is how we sewed it, but here's another option if you want it to look blue and gray or pink and red or, you know, just to give you some other options. So let me know um, if you have any questions on the book. I know you guys are going to be so excited about the book because I'm so excited. So I know if I'm excited, you guys are going to be excited too. Mm -hmm. Uh, from Catherine Dolphin. She says, how many hours to make these quilts? Oh, a lot. Um, I probably, it probably took me 60 hours. And that doesn't include binding or quilting or anything. Another thing in the book is um, there is a cross stitch of the um, sampler quilt. So uh, Camille finished it this week and Lily's gonna pop up a little picture of it. It obviously is not finished or framed. She really wanted to use Cosmo thread because DMC does not have the best aquas. Um, so she stitched hers with Cosmo. In the book we're gonna list Cosmo and DMC and we will have like um, thread packs and then fabric options. That is stitched on Lori Holt's 25 count Cloud Lugana. And um, we put some extra instructions in there if you're a beginner, but Camille made that probably in two weeks and she doesn't even cross stitch. Wow. She just like picked it back up. So, so that's super exciting. Right. Uh, okay, so we have lots of questions. Um, Glenda Mitchell says the book does have the patterns in it, right? Yeah. Yes, the patterns for all of these. Yeah, anything I just show, the patterns are in here. And can you remind us of the name of the book? The book is called The Bonnie and Camille Quilt Bee Book. The block of the month is called Shine On Block of the Month Sampler Quilt. From Sally Morris Moss, can any quilt be made larger? Um, I mean, you can always do um, anything you would like to do, but the what basically the ones that I said out loud could be made in different sizes. The instructions are in the book. Um, some of them come in one size, some of them come in other sizes. Like the one behind me has three size options. So it kind of just depends whatever they wanted to do. And we had an awesome idea from Teresa. She said that rainbow baby quilt could be made from the So Colorful fabric. Uh, yes, so, so we fabric. have a So Colorful, I think the club is full, but if mm -hmm. you remember or still in it, you've got lots of bundles over two years that have the different colorways. Mm -hmm. It would also be great for the heart quilt. Oh yeah. Um, Denise Crane says, is there a new Bonnie and Camille line? Yes, and we're gonna have more information on that later in May when Moda releases their fabric collections they're going to ship us a big box. We're not meeting with sales reps anymore. So uh, they're going to ship us a big box and then Kevin and I will sit and open it and mm -hmm. figure out what we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, Liz Trinder, she had a funny comment. She said, can I open a branch store for you in the UK or you just move out here? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm stretched pretty thin right now. Yes. 
I don't know that I could add anything else to my point. <laughs> From Annie Shaw, if we have already reserved the book and want to do the block of the month, can we cancel the reservation? Yes, the just email. Okay. Or just sign up for the block of the month and then email us and say cancel or, you know, whatever. We are um, a little bit more caught up on emails. We are still behind. We are still behind on shipping. I just want to be totally transparent. We have a shipping notification on our website at the very top. It's in red. Um, we are, I can promise you that we are doing everything we can to get those orders out. If you email and say, um, you know, I need you to rush it out. We can't, like, we can't put one person's order in front of another's. We can't. We just need to get the orders out. And um, so we can't just stop and then get certain people's orders out um, and emailing me and like yelling at me is not going to help the situation so um, just know that we are doing everything we can um, to get the orders out uh, from Gail Stale uh, what level is that for the cross stitch oh I would say beginner okay. there's no half stitches or back stitches or anything from Jamie Mislin, will you have a thread pack or kit for the cross stitch pattern? Yes. Okay. All right, and then we had a ton of super chats come in, so we're gonna go through them all right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a lot, people are, are being super awesome and generous today, we really appreciate it. So from Roxy2, $2, and they say, thanks for your content, it's groovy. Thank oh, you, I'm Roxy. groovy today. I'm gonna <laughs> tell my kids that, I'm, gonna, I'm groovy. All right, and from Jess Burler for $1.49. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. And from Crystal Row, $5. And they say, thank you for your content. Fat Quarter Shop Life videos and tutorials have really helped me get through some difficult times. Thank you. Yeah. I've been watching a ton of live streams also. That's very sweet. Um, Barbara Johnston for $4.99. And she said, thanks for your great videos to keep us all inspired. I love the new patterns. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Barbara. Uh, from Amy Leach for two dollars and she says love FQS you are worth the wait in shipping Aww. oh thank you but we will you know there is a light at the end of the tunnel um, we just got to get there mm -hmm. yes. and um, we're doing it yes yes we will get there uh, from Terry Wycliffe for four ninety nine. Thank and you. Uh, Susan McCallan she says love Friday live streams thanks for all you do thank you thank you Susan yeah, I'm not sure if I put a piggy for Susan, so. There's piggy. There's piggy. My mm. mom likes piggy now, so so Yay. my mom does not love dogs. She never liked dogs. We always had a lot of dogs growing up, and she hated it. And I think she likes piggy now. Oh. She petted him the other day. I was like, oh, we made a step. Yeah. We made a step. My mom actually pet a dog. Oh. <laughs> Um, and then we had an interesting question from Laurel Miller. She said, uh, when you get new rotary blades, do you wipe off the oil that comes on them? I don't. So when I take a rotary blade out, I kind of touch the center, like I put the blade around, and or I'll just slide it, like slide one off, one off and then one on. I try not to, yeah, I never touch that. That um, I think it helps it rotate. I could totally be telling you the wrong answer though, but I don't, I don't. Um, I also don't want the oil to get on my hands and then get on the fabric. Yeah. Um, Glenda Mitchell says, when is the book going to be out? So the book is going to come out around September. The fabric is going to come out around October. And so the block of the month is going to ship the very first week of November. So that, that gives us time to cut everything um, when the fabric comes in. Uh, Patty Lawson says, yes, I like Piggy. <laughs> oh, she likes Piggy. And then we have... She won't, she won't babysit Piggy, though. I guarantee that. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Linda Hester had a great comment. She said, give me a list of the whiners. Let me at them. Fat Quarter Shop is the best ever. Stop apologizing. You didn't create the pandemic. And it's all in caps. I know. It's really hard because everything... I'm very, like, I like things in my control. My mom can attest to that. I like everything my way. And everything right now is out of control. Everything. I mean... There's not one thing in my life that is in control right now. That includes school, dance, like they're trying to, I don't know, just all the kids stuff. Like everything is just a mess. And my kids have been so great. I mean, they've done really good, but I don't really know what we're going to do this summer because, I mean, Texas has opened back up, but I'm not going to go to the park because there's too many people in the park. So, and by my house, there's only one park in the city. So we live like in a smaller city outside of Austin. So there's one park in this big city. Mm -hmm. 
And every time I drive by, there's like a million people. So I'm like, I really don't know what we're going to do. All right. And then one more super chat before we move on uh, from Nellie Olson. It's for four ninety nine, And I'm going to try to do my best impression of what she, the sticker she put. It's this pair that's going like this, like lifting weights. She's going weights. like this. Yeah. And it says, keep it up. So it's Thanks. Like I need to work out. You know, I was, when I was driving to work today, the lady that lives across the street, she was like doing squats. And I was like, she looks about my age. I should be doing those squats. And then I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do squats. All right. So I wanted, we did get a question last week about the 2019 designer mystery block of the month. So I'll talk to you a little bit about our mystery block of the month. So we started them a long time ago, like, bef like 13, 14, probably 15 years ago. Um, and what it is, is a program where you get a block each month and then you can choose to get the finishing or the backing. And at the end of the year, we release the pattern for sale to everyone else. And so this block of the month has now wrapped up and um, I'm gonna show it to you. The kits are no longer available. Everything is sold out except for the pattern sets. So in the pattern set, you would get the finishing, which is on the front and the blocks that are within. And I'm gonna show it to you. And I actually sewed this Mike from my long arm quilter or mylongarm.com, sorry, quilted it. And so this is the mystery block of the month where each of the blocks are designed by a Moda designer. And um, I am gonna answer a couple of questions that we've got on them. So I did wanna address, somebody put online that they hated block 12 and they thought that we just threw it in as an afterthought. And I just wanted to say that Totally, just replace it if you don't like it, but we definitely did not throw anything in, as, in at, at the end as an afterthought. We don't do that here at Fat Quarter Shop. Um, but if you don't like it, like one thing that would be a good option for you is Lori Holt's books all have 12 inch blocks. So if you don't love that block, just get one from a book. It's not a big deal. And you don't have to love everything. Um, I totally get that. It's just I don't want anybody to ever think I did something as an afterthought. Um, let me find my did I put a label in here? Yes, you did. It's, it's right down there. Oh, okay. I'm like, what did I do? Okay, so on this label, I sewed it in. So, so on this one, you can see I sewed in the label. So on Camille's quilt, I sewed it on top. And on this one, I sewed it in. And I think it kind of depends on how much time I have definitely how much fabric I have. If I don't have any extra fabric, I definitely can't do this. And um, so that was fun. So one of the things I wanted to point out, I know Elba's gonna be happy that I talk about this. Let me find it. So in this block of the month, if you got the finishing kit, you got a triangles on a roll, roll and um, Someone said that all of my cherries were going the same direction. And how do you do that? And to do that, you do it one by one. But when I'm looking at it, they're not all the same direction. So my, ch can you zoom in, Lily? Yeah. Like right here? So my cherries don't all go the same direction. I thought they did when Elva emailed me, but they don't. And so um, people said, well, how did you do that? And I can't remember what I did a month. I mean, I, I made this quilt a year and a half ago. <laughs> um, I already sewed next year's designer mystery quilt and that is actually sold out also. Mm -hmm. But um, if you wanted your cherries to all go the same way, you would have to just kind of plan that with your, tri with your triangles on a roll triangle paper. Um, but yeah, I, um, yeah, so when I emailed Elva, I said, oh yeah, you know, I must've done it individually. But so I think I gave Elva the wrong answer. So if you called, I'm sorry, but that's how you would do it. But I made that quilt like in 2018, probably. <laughs> but it's exciting because now I can take it home. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, uh, we have one question about that so far from Jay DeFiore. They say, will the designer block of the month have videos? No, they never have videos. Mm -hmm. And really the premise behind Designer Mystery, I came up with it a long time ago. And one of the 
things that I wanted to do was to make something that if you are a quilter on a budget and you just want to get a surprise every month that's not super expensive, it's not $20 or $30, that we just do a block that's in color with the fabric. But you don't have to buy the finishing. You can just buy the blocks if you want. And so it's a cheaper way. It's something similar to what brick and mortar stores do with block of the month where you just come in and get a block each month for a low amount. So that's kind of why we did that. We did that we released these before we ever did videos and um, we've always just kind of sold out of them and it's kind of just one of those things that I never added videos for. Mm -hmm. And just so you guys know, I'm not filming for the next two weeks, not including live streams, but if our if we release fewer videos, it's because I'm filling orders, I'm, I'm uh, uh, receiving inventory ordering inventory so we're gonna cut back on our filming schedule and um, it just it is what it is mm -hmm. but I will be here for live streams somehow I will make it here for that <laughs> all right um, very sweet comment from Mi Mundo en Telas uh, she says one day at a time you guys will do it Thank I know you. it is it literally is one day at a time the one thing that I think is affecting me the most is sleep so I'm so stressed out about um, everything that I can't sleep like if a customer emails me and just screams at me, I can't get that email out of my head because I want everything to be perfect. Mm -hmm. That's how I built this company. I want it to be customer service. I mean, I could sit here and just cry and just, it's just devastating. Everything that I have, like everything is out of my control um, and we're doing our very best and I just don't like it. I don't like to not be perfect. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to admit that. It's okay to be, to admit that. Um, a sweet comment from Pat Bro, Designer Mystery is a beautiful quilt. It needs to be seen as a whole to truly appreciate it. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, we try so hard on those. And we try to make those Designer Mysteries um, very have a lot of movement so that it's not like cookie cutter. And that's kind of how we, at first we kind of had them where it was like three rows by four. And we wanted to make them a little bit more original so that when you look at it, it's just like a, I don't know, it just, it's so original and it's, fun and I always like making them. I made um, 2020s already and that one just sold out this week. Um, we are not doing wait lists on that. Uh, if we have some spots open up, we'll just put it online. Um, but we will not be able to do wait lists right now because of the pandemic. Okay, um, going back real quick to uh, the Bonnie and Camille sampler. Mm -hmm. Uh, from Doris Dale she was just wanting to make sure that you actually get the book when you sign up for the yep. block of the month yes so if you sign up for the block of the month the book comes with your part one so part one will have some of the blocks the book and the very last month will have the borders and the binding mm -hmm. all right and then we have a few more super chats Oh. People are, are super generous today. We really appreciate it. Susan Summers for $1.99, and she says, thanks for all you do. Thank you. Thank you. Um, from Carol Lies Shaw for $5. Thank you, Carol. And there's Piggy for Carol. And then next one is from Kim Lafleur for $1.99. Thank you. Awesome last name. Yay. All right, and then the last one here is from BK Chambers 44 for $1.99, and they say love Friday live stream. Thank, Thank you. you. I live in the city of B Caves, so that's similar. Oh, BK. I was like, B Cave? And that, B -cave. Th that's the name of the city I live in, I think. Yeah, it is, yeah. You're right. Um, and then question from YRB1220, uh, where do you get your labels from? So I'm in the Sweetwater Label Company. I pay for those. She doesn't pay me to do that. Um, I love getting them and I get a label each month. And um, it's basically printed. So they have a special printer and they print on fabric. And you know you can iron on it, um, you can sew on it. And I have been in that for years. And so I just have like a paper, it's actually just a little paper bag. And um, I just kind of sift through them and see which one that I think matches the most. And it's really cute. One of my sons likes mail. And so when it comes, he'll always say, here's your fabric. And he'll open it and everything. And then he knows, like, I can say, oh, put it with my others. And he'll take it out and then put it with the other. Like, they all know where the labels are. And then they also sell towels of the month. And that, um, I just bought that for fun years ago. And that has been a lifesaver because they're flower towels. So the kids, we have like 
30 of them and I'm like do not use the paper towels only use this um, so that it can save since so it's been like because you can just throw them in the wash I mean I have we could use like 10 in a day and I'd still have some um, from stitch by stitch, they say for triangles on a roll, say if you want a two and a half inch square, what size would you use? If you want a two and a half inch square that's unfinished, but it finishes at two inches, then you would buy two inches. So you would take whatever your pattern says unfinished minus half an inch, and that's your, and we do have a chart um, on our blog, and that will help you. So, and that has a lot of detail. Jocelyn spent a lot of time, and I think Nova proofed it. And so um, there's a lot of detail on that page. Mm -hmm. All right, and before we move on to our next topic here, we have a new YouTube member, Brenda Gardner. Welcome, Brenda. Thank you. Yay. So I wanted to just kind of show you one more time before I take my quilt home. This is the Charming Baby Sew Along that just finished this week. So we just did our very last post on it on the blog. So I'll just show you my quilt one last time before I take it home. I used the at home collection and I used Bonnie's colorway, which is the red and green. I did pull some greens from the Camille colorway to add to it. And this is my quilt. And I was so lucky, lucky that Gina Tell quilted it for me because I really like cross hatches. And so she did that for me and this is the label that goes on the back. And on this one, it's upside down, but you can see that this is a Sweetwater label company that I stitched into the block and then just sewed the block into the back. And this is using the Charming Baby book by Melissa Corey. And she designed this sampler quilt and the book and everything in it. And it just wrapped up. So I just wanted to show it one more time before I take it home. I like to, um, take all of those home. So I'll show you one last time. And then we had some sample makers make it also. So this is Angel's. Mike quilted it and he's at my long arm. She used Alma collection by Ruby Star Society and she used a speckled background and she put tiger fly on the backing. Mm -hmm. So even though this is a baby quilt, I'm gonna kind of do this so you can see the whole thing. You can make it totally modern. Look how pretty it is. Yeah. It's really the, pretty. The back, she did something really cool with embroidery. Okay. So really pretty. And then on the back, she said she used Tiger Fly Collection. Mm -hmm. The embroidery. Where's the embroidery? So it's up there. She oh my goodness. Like, yeah. And it's got like words like. Oh, she put fierce, free, equal. That's really pretty. Is it on the front? I think it only oh. shows up on the back. Yeah. yeah, so she hand, it looks like she did a hand sashiko stitch mm -hmm. and it's only on the back. I would have never even noticed and it matches the fabric. Yeah. It's pretty. That's really cool. That's really pretty. I like the bind. See, the binding's really cool too, how um, she used a uh, stripe. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. The next one was made by Sue. She works in customer service. Mike also quilted this one. She used Monkey Wrench by Tula Pink. And that fabric collection came out last summer. I know a lot of the pre-cuts on it are sold out and some of the prints are discontinued if you want to know why they're sold out. So this is Monkey Wrench. So another totally modern. And it just shows you that even though the name of the book is Charming Baby, Mm -hmm. It can be whatever you want it to be. Anytime you quilt or craft, you can do whatever you want. That's so cool. Yes. So let me know if you have any questions on that before I show you the next two small things that I have. Right. And um, we have done fewer things in the live streams, like less pop-ups, less things. It's all just related to um, us being able to like get your orders out. Mm -hmm. So if y'all are just curious why we took, we're taking stuff out, we're just taking stuff out everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, from Gwen Smith, is that tree pattern you used on the back in the Charming Baby Quilt book? Since, no, okay. no, she just freehanded that. 
Um, I think the embroidery and Angel had like that tree block in the back. The tree block. That's yeah. a rocket block. Oh, the rocket and it block. is in the back. Yes, the embroidery is not, but the yes. block is. And we have instructions on our blog on how you. Um, you go, you go to the book to make the block, and then it shows you what fabric to put, how to sew the fabric in. Okay, and let's see. We just have another super chat here um, from Gail Stale. She said, "You folks are the best, and thanks." Thank you. Thank you so much, Gail. Yay! Super Piggy's getting to get his uh, flying workout. Today. I know, he, he, but that's Super Piggy's behaving. Mine is not. <laughs> Emma even asked me last night, she's like, do you think something's, like, wrong with him? Like, I really, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Like, he's just acting up. So I wanted to tell you about a new sew along that we are doing over the summer. We did push the dates back. Um, all the information will be on our blog. We pushed the dates back so that um, it could, y'all had a little bit more time to get stuff. So it's going to be the Jolly Baller Row Along. This is the book. It's our book, too. This is our printout that tells you what you need. And we use the Bloomington Jolly Bar, or I did, I guess I would say. So I'll show you the quilt that I made. And I'll show this a couple more times in the live stream. So this is the quilt that I made. And on this one, I actually don't remember who quilted it. So I apologize, I think Mike did. And this one I'm really proud of. So on this one, if you look at my backing, and can you zoom in on that, Lily? Yeah. So on this quilt, I didn't have very many scraps left over because you really use up that Jolly Bar. So I only had some little snippets left over on the edge of my flying geese. So I turned them into hourglass blocks. I had a lot of background left over, so obviously I put that background and then just kind of sewed it into my backing. And then I didn't make it go in the center because I didn't have enough fabric to do that so that is coming up and then I wanted to let you guys know that we are at 43,000 for oh no we're at $46,232 for Bloomtopia that money goes directly to Make-A-Wish and I wanted to show you release 8 came out this morning so um, Lily brought these blocks so this is the block that Sherry and Chelsea made and this goes along with the quilt kit. I think Crystal made this one. And she used Essex linen as this black and then speckled as the fabric. This one is Harvest Road Collection by Layla Boutique and Teresa made this one. That's one of my favorite collections of all time. This is Deborah made this one, and this is Stiletto by Basic Gray. And so we wanted to show you all these blocks just to show you, again, just like we showed you in the baby quilt, you can use anything. So I used more, um, I used the original fabrics that came with it, but you can make it modern. This is Memoirs by Three Sisters, and Sue and Customer Service made this one. And this one Nancy made. And this is Flower Garden by Moda. So that video is now available today on um, YouTube mm -hmm. and also the free pattern. And, you know, if you sew along, you can use your stash. You can use the kit. Um, we're going to leave that pattern permanently out there and um, just hope that you donate to Make-A-Wish. Um, we're going to leave our campaign open longer this year than last year. Uh, make a wish ask us to leave it open a little bit longer because you guys are still donating which is really nice mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome. okay so I have a few questions uh, I'm gonna go back to Jolly Bar uh, roll okay. along real quick um, for from Brenda Bayer she says just one Jolly Bar for the sew along plus a background fabric is that all you need you need one Jolly Bar two and five eighths yards for the background five eighths yard backing five eighths yard binding and three and three eighths yards backing. So yes, one Jolly Bar. Yes. And these fabric requirements can also be found on the blog, which we've linked below. Yeah. Uh, and from Karen Cox, she said, did you actually use a Jolly Bar and starch the fabric or did you use a layer cake <laughs> when you made it? I used a layer cake and cut it down. Ah, so okay. I do that all the time. Um, I waste fabric, but you see that what I do is, 
One thing I'm going to show you in an upcoming blog is, um, it, Lori taught it to me, but I'm going to show it, I'm going to save it for next week's, one of the next two weeks live streams, just to show you kind of what I'm doing with my leftover fabric. And um, it really, what inspired me was, you know, I just want to be Lori, to be honest. Like, I just want to be Lori. I want to live her life. She's got a great life. I just, I love Lori. I love what she does. And so I have always wanted to do little buckets of fabric that are different size cuts, but I've never had anywhere to put it. And so when she came and we bought that um, entertainment center, I actually have a lot of places I can put stuff. And for my birthday, she sent me a really nice, um, I would have never bought it for myself, a label maker. And at first I was like, what is this? And then I was like, oh my gosh, it's a label maker. And she was like, you know, it's a label maker so you can start labeling stuff and doing, you know, like I do. So I did it and I cut and I now have a lot of stash and I'm saving more fabric that way. And she, she was like, I'm so proud of you because I sent her a photo of it. Mm. Um, but I'm going to bring it and show it in a live stream. But when I do something like that where I take a layer cake, starch it, trim it down for something like this, I'll show you what I'm doing with my leftovers. In addition to doing my um, log cabin blocks, I sewed last weekend. Um, we have an upcoming event that I'm going to talk more about in the next couple of weeks. It's called Be Patriotic. If you're a Lori Holt fan and you're gonna to wanna to sew along, get that bundle. We have a certain amount and when they're gone, they're gone. And the reason, because it's very hard to get fabric right now. Um, but what we're doing is it's gonna be a sew along where she made her quilt using 12 inch blocks. I made mine using six inch blocks using the Be Patriotic, but I did all 12 of my six inch blocks in eight hours. I just basically went in my sewing room, shut the door, and sewed them. I was just, yeah, it's amazing. Um, I have not put them into the quilt yet. I'm hoping to maybe get up early tomorrow morning and do that. Um, but I'm going to talk more about that coming up. But I had, and I made a lot of log cabin blocks. I mean, I'm just like really productive. It's really hard on the live stream because I work on stuff that I'm going to show you in the future. So, um, but I got a lot done. And that's what I mean about sleep. Like, I'm just not sleeping because I'm just like going, going, going. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have a few super chats here from uh, Gabriel Flint is the first one's for $2. And he says, how's your Harry Potter quilt? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I haven't done it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever. I might just just throw it, at, throw it in some sashing and be done <laughs> and make it a tell Will that it's a bed runner. <laughs> I'll do it one day. Okay, but we're in a pandemic. We yeah, I, I basically am sewing on the weekends, just like not, like usually I take off a day or two. I don't, it's not really taking a day off. I just sew from home. Um, I haven't been able to do that. So um, I got up Saturday like so, because I still had to do the mania stitching. I just got up, went in my sewing room and just locked the door. I didn't really lock the door, but I just like didn't stop. I don't even know if I ate lunch. I just was like, I got to get these blocks done. Mm -hmm. I got to do it. And then I sent it to Lori and one of them, I put the wrong red in. And we were like, oh, it's fine. Nobody will notice. So when we get the, I'll show you guys. But I mean, it's supposed to be scrappy, so it doesn't matter. But mm -hmm. Okay. And then we had another super chat from Brenda Gardner for $20. Thank you so much, oh, Brenda. thank you. And she put uh, a pair that's dancing like this, and it says, you are amazing. Oh, thank you. Yes. I do my best to imitate these pairs that YouTube has Yeah, she should chosen. be like an actress or something. <laughs> She's very animated. Oh, thanks. Uh, and then from Pokey Little Pineapple, they gave us a super chat for one dollar, uh, and they say, "Hmm." So the message is, "Stay sweet. Use the pineapple mantra." Yes. I thought that was funny. Oh, sorry, Super Piggy went away really fast. There He's so go. cute. Okay. And then uh, I thought this was just a great comment. Kristen Fisher said, "Am I catching a live?" Yes, you are, oh, Kristen. Oh yes. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Good to see you in the chat. Um, and then uh, another super chat from Callie. Xanthopy for five dollars and they say huge shout out to sue who was so patient with me during my la latest order you're amazing and i love your bloomtopia block thank you oh my gosh so she got two shout outs today yeah go sue yes uh and then another super chat that just came in from tina Steiben for two euros i think that's what that sign is um correct me if i'm wrong uh two yeah, two of a euro. Uh, many greetings and hugs from Berlin, Germany. Oh, so yes. Are euros used in Germany? I think so. I think so too. I've never been to Germany. All right. Okay. 
let's see let me see if I missed any questions here and of course like after the video if you have any questions you know put them there we'll answer um, also just anything that you really like from the live streams I would love for you to comment and just let me know like what do you like seeing because then I read every comment um, every single comment um, because it helps me know like okay what do you like what do you not like what do I do more of? What do I do less of? Because obviously I'm just doing this for you guys and I want to do the stuff that you guys like the most. So when you comment and tell me, oh, I really like this, then it helps me focus on um, that. And one of the things that I know you guys like is seeing all the quilts in the different colorways. So we try and do more of that. All right, and we have a few questions here uh, from Dee Dee Lambert. Uh, what did you use on your charming baby quilt for the background? We can look it up. Okay, I used a older print from Bonnie Camille, and Lily will have to look it up at some point, what yes. I used. So the reason that I did not use the at-home background is because I made that before the fabric came out and I didn't have enough sample yardage. So I pulled from our inventory um, and tried to get as close to it as I could. So if you use the at-home background, it would look probably very similar. The at-home background is a polka dot. This one is like a little flower. Uh, Camille Olavison Roskelly says, good morning ladies. I am just waking up and catching up. Can't wait to watch. Aw, hi, hi Camille. Camille. So Camille's the author of the book. Yes. Woohoo. Okay, uh, from Daniela Kivet Parker, when you do a block of the month, do we pay $5 shipping per block each month? Yes. Um, Gabriel Fuentes was asking me if I've seen Hollywood on Netflix. I did see it. Have I couldn't, it? I didn't like it. I turned it on for five minutes and I was like, I can't watch this. Oh, that's I crazy. just think it's because it's very, um, I, it seems like a film rather than a documentary and I'm not yeah. into films and I can't, so I turned it off. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. I binged watched it all in like two nights, I think. Yeah. And you still haven't watched Tiger King. And I haven't watched Tiger King. That's, I'm watching Hollywood and not Tiger King. Yeah, no, I tried to watch it. Um, yeah. But I'm excited because they're going to have a Jeffrey Epstein um, documentary come out, and Ooh. I cannot wait. Oh, nice. She just probably doesn't even know who that is. Yeah, I do. Oh, she does. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm excited because um, the title of it is named after a book written by James Patterson that I actually have sitting in my closet because I haven't read it yet. And I have it in my closet so my kids won't get it because my kids like to read my books and I'm like, uh, no, because I read about true crime. Um, but I was wondering if that new de Netflix documentary is based on that book because it has the same name and I've Googled it and I haven't been able to figure that out. And so that's very interesting because I'm trying to figure out is it based on this book or is, you know, I'm just trying to find out a little bit more about it before I watch it and I haven't been able to figure that out yet. But if you guys don't know, I just love documentaries. Um, that's all I watch. Okay. Uh, let's see, from Sue M, uh, talking about Piggy, she said, he's a pug, they are too cute to behave, ask me how I know. Well, he's so just funny. acting, um, he just is very, He's acting hungry all the time, and he eats so much. Like, he, that kid, there's no way he's sick. There's, I mean, there's no way that he's hungry. We could feed him five little things of food, and he will still want food. He just wants food all of the time, and he will eat too much and then get sick. And I don't know, like, how to make him stop. Like, all he wants to do is beg for food, and it's getting annoying. Mm -hmm. Because we know, now we know, because when he used to go to daycare all the time, we would think, okay, maybe they didn't feed him at daycare. We'll just feed him some more. Well, now we're, he's home all day, so we know exactly what he's eaten. And I'm like, you cannot eat. He wants to eat like a whole thing of food, like the food comes in this carton. He wants to eat all of that in one day, and we're like, no. So I don't know what his deal is, but I think he's just bratty and wants to be, he, he doesn't care about, he doesn't want to be petted. He just wants, well, he wants me to pet him, nobody else, but he wants just food. That's all he wants. A uh, few more questions here. Oh, from Teresa Maynardi. Uh, love your top, Kimberly. You have the prettiest tops. So where do you get it, if you don't mind me asking? So I am in a member of this thing called the Trunk Club, and it's they send you clothes each month, and you, they'll email you each month, like, what are you looking for? And so I usually just say tops, and I actually only wear my really nice tops on live stream days. <laughs> I have noticed, though, during the pandemic, because I haven't, I haven't gone anywhere, I don't, 
Because, you know, if I usually, go, if I go to a dance convention or something, and I'm in a, sometimes they're in a mall, like the Galleria, where there's like a convention center attached, you know, you'll walk by and you'll just see like, oh, that's a nice top and you'll buy it or something. And so I'm like out of things. I have nothing else new to show and I'm not going into any store. I do have to go to Dillard's because I sent my mom, okay, so I sent my mom flowers for Mother's Day. And when I did it, I specifically picked a local store that was in Dripping Springs because that's close to my mom's house. And I knew like she'll get fresh flowers, they'll be local, it was $125. She never got the flowers. So I'm like, okay, well now I gotta go to, cause I know what she likes from Dillard. So I'm actually gonna like make myself stop, go in a store, get what she wants and then get out. Cause I was like, well, if I ordered online, she's not gonna get it. So I'll tell you a funny story. I, um, Sunday was Mother's Day. So I said, Kevin, will you drive me to Starbucks? Cause I hate to drive. I was like, since it's Mother's Day, just drive me to Starbucks so I can have tea. And then we both are out of conditioner, like for our hair. And then we asked Emma, like, do you have any extra? Cause our kid, our boys don't use it. They just use that two in one shampoo. She was like, no, I don't have any conditioner either. And so I had ordered on Amazon. At this point, it's been two weeks and I haven't gotten it, but I understand like it's a pandemic. It's fine, I get it. So I said, okay, well, what if we just go to Ulta? I'll just jump out, put my mask on. I know exactly where it is and then get it. And they're not open. You have to order online to pick it up. So then I thought, okay, I'll just wait because it's been a week now from then. Um, I'll just wait and then I'll, my order will come from Amazon. That way, you know, we'll save money. And um, my my, shampoo, my conditioner still hasn't come, so my hair is like a mess. And Kevin's hair, like our hair is like frizzy because we don't have any conditioner. So if it doesn't come like Saturday, I think I'm gonna have to get online and then order it and then do the pickup because um, I mean, I don't know. And I need to get my hair. I told Lily, I need to get my hair fixed before I do any other videos, but I just don't, I don't, I haven't made the appointment. I just don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. Y'all just going to have to look at my black hair. I like it <laughs> personally. Well, it's okay. So if you look here, you can see the real color. Like it's oh, black. See, it. it's all black. Like it's, it's like black. Brown. It's well, I mean, it's brown. <laughs> so, um, I was almost thinking like I should just let it grow out and then I'll just have brown hair. Yes. I would love to see it with brown hair. I know. Yeah. I love hair changes. That's just me. Well, yeah, you haven't really changed. She sometimes has purple hair or blue oh, hair, yeah. but she hasn't changed it in a while. Cause I, yeah, hair salons get expensive. Oh, I you thought gotta you... bleach it. Well, I have to get it bleached and then I do the color at home. Oh no. But I don't dare bleach it at home. No, I think your hair would fall out if you did that. Exactly. So I have to go to the hair salon to get, get them to lighten it. And once they lighten it, I can do whatever I want at home. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, that's why I haven't done it. But yes, I miss my purple hair. Uh, okay, from Quinn Smith, she said, Kimberly should watch the documentary called McMillions. Okay, so I haven't watched it because it's on Hulu and I don't have a Hulu account. Uh. And I looked into getting Hulu and it was really expensive, except Kevin showed me, we do have the Disney Plus because Emma likes to watch, it's like an older show. I don't even know what it's called. I never watched it, but she, she, she loves to watch that. And, um, so we have it for that, but it's like $4.99 extra if you have the Disney channel, but I want it with no commercials. So um, I was actually gonna look into that this weekend. My brother recommended that and his wife recommended it and my aunt and uncle recommended it, um, but I don't have Hulu. So that's the only reason I haven't watched it. And it's just because, I mean, I guess I'm cheap because I already have cable. And so Hulu is like for people who don't have cable. So then I'm like, well, I'm already paying for what I have. And they have a little bit of extra content, but not like Netflix where there's a lot. Mm -hmm. So, but on Netflix, I will tell you, I have watched every documentary that is on there that is applicable to me and there is nothing left. And I am, woo. <laughs> but I have been trying to watch other things that are films like that Hollywood. I've been trying to watch other things, but if it's, if it's like acting, I just don't like it for whatever, well, I don't know. I don't know why I'm like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and we have a few more super chats that came in uh, from Shyla Ham for 1999. Uh, they said, "Thank you, Kimberly, and everyone at the Fat Quarter Shop. You all do a fab fabulous job. I am happy to wait as long as it takes for shipping. You all need time off as well." And then she put a little heart. Thank you. Thank you, Shyla. Much appreciated. Okay. And then next super chat was from Kim West for five dollars, and she oh. says, "You guys are amazing." 
Thank you. Kim West has been a customer forever. Oh, go Kim. Thank She's you. She's the one that her name is in the book. And she had asked on the, oh, yeah, on the we did YouTube a members only live stream on Monday. And um, she had asked if her name was in there and I found it. And what's so funny about that is I am so stressed out, guys, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Like, I am so stressed out. I just can't even remember what's going on. And I thought, oh my gosh, on Monday I should stay home. I have to do all this stuff for the live stream and da da da. And then at, I stayed up late because I can't sleep anymore. And Lily posted, live stream only tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And I'm like, oh, I got to get up. I forgot. <laughs> I was like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> That's how, like, so stressed out is that I can't even remember. That's hilarious. Next it's, time I'll make sure to text you. Yeah, I was like, I'm an idiot. No. I mean, I, maybe I would have remembered by the morning, but it's also just I haven't been able to sleep well. I can't fall asleep. And so when I can't fall asleep, it's hard for me to get up. And I don't want to come in with, like, four hours of sleep. Um, but I just have not been. We've been, um, yeah. Well, we've also had the issue of um, my kids play. The, my mom is watching, and she really gets pissed off about this. So don't comment, Mom. But, like, my kids play this game. It's called Rotating Beds. It's They sleep wherever they want. And me and Kevin don't have a problem with it. But so they have this thing where Emma now, Christopher sleeps either in Emma's room or either in her bed, in her eggshell, which is this chair my mom bought, or on the floor. But now they have a game where guess where I'm going to sleep. And so they, one of them will run out of the room and then the other one has to chase them. And then wherever they end up is where the other one has to go. And then they fight over where they get. And it's this game. It's this new game. It started, like, in the last week. And I was telling my mom, and she was like, just put them in their damn bed. And I'm like, I can't. Like, it's funny. I like it. <laughs> so that's also been interrupting my sleep is just, like, kids coming in. And then if they don't like where they got, like, if they don't like where they got the position, then they just go to a different room. It's it's funny. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, there'll be a day when they don't want anything to do with me. So, I let them sleep wherever they want. <laughs> All right. A few more super chats here from Laura McLaughlin for $5. She says, you guys are wonderful. Hang in there. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Uh, the next one's from Kathy Oshia for $9.99. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Here goes Super Piggy. Wait, there he is. Yay. Okay. And then uh, we have lots of people commenting uh, different places to either watch documentaries, um, different documentaries that they're recommending, so I can compile a list of that for you and send it over. Yes, yeah, she will. She instants that to me, and I'll go through it. She does send that stuff to me, and I love it. I, okay. um, yeah, I, um, I, you know, just right now, I, I am working so much. I am totally out of stuff to watch. I have found a couple of new YouTubers that I like, um, that have helped, but, man. I was telling Kevin about Hulu, and he didn't even know what Hulu was. And so I was, like, explaining it, and then when he found out it was $4.99, I was, I'm going to, we're going to look into it this weekend, and if it's $4.99 without commercials, I'll do it. But if it's with commercials, I don't want to do it, because I can already do that on my phone. Like, I watch the, you can watch the Oxygen Channel or Investigative Discovery. Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't have, my mom has it, um, is Nancy Grace has a new something on Fox, but I don't want to pay for it because mm -hmm. it would just, I mean, that's, I don't watch news. I don't watch any kind of anything like that. So it would just be watching her. And I'm like, well, that's really expensive to watch one person. So when she came over like two times ago, she played it. She just played it on her phone and I listened. I thought, yeah, she had texted me and said, well, watch this. And I thought she meant on the TV. I thought Nancy Grace was on the TV and I got home and she was like, oh, it's on my phone. I was like, okay, we'll watch it. <laughs> So guys, have a great weekend, and I will see you guys next week. All right. Bye, guys.